Hey there, it's Susan Winter. I have a discussion today on obsession. This is the first in a series of discussions on obsession because I think it affects just a few of you. If I understand from the unbelievable massive emails that I get, it is a way to hack your way through your thinking mechanism that has locked you in there. So let's go over obsession and a technique that you are going to learn to free yourself from the anxiety, the heartache, the confusion, the loop of obsessive thinking, ruminating and wondering what you did wrong, how you could have made it go differently, rereading texts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What is obsession? If you're in it, you know it. But it is the unbelievable burden of your mind running frantically for an answer. That's the Susan definition. Obsession is when the human mind cannot figure out why somebody gave us attention. Now they don't. They loved us. Now they don't. They paid attention to us. Now they don't. And we become obsessed because we have to get back to where we were. Obsession can happen, like in so many of the emails that I get. You meet somebody, they love bomb you. It starts a little fast, you're a little cautious, but it's okay because you're going with this flow and you've waited so long to have somebody love you. And this person, they seem like they're the one. Everything is wonderful. You could even be together for a year, two years. You're talking about your future, then boom, the shift. It happens. You feel them pulling away or worse yet, you don't. You got no idea it's happening and boom, they've just cut off the relationship. You're in a breakup mode. You're confused. You don't have answers. How did they leave? Why did they leave? All you can think about is this loop. Now, what you're trying to do, the human mind is trying to find the answer to an illogical situation. That is the Susan Winter definition of obsession. The mind scrambling, scrambling, scrambling. There's got to be an answer. Why did this happen? It's here. Now now it's not here. This is the trap. And the reason that we get stuck is what I call the relevancy principle. Well, it's not just me. This is the term for it. Here's what the human is thinking inside you. They love me once. How do I get back? If it happened before... It can happen again. They were nice in the beginning. They're not nice now. So you think it's you. You think you did something wrong. You think somehow you failed them because you don't understand and it's illogical why you can have something and then not. And the relevancy principle is that your mind keeps blowing through the red flags of what is today and grabs onto that moment, the early days, the first days, maybe the one time, maybe the smile they gave you, maybe you weren't even in a relationship, maybe it's a crush, they smiled at you, they told you you were beautiful, they said that you're the, I can't believe somebody like you is single, what I would do with you, and then they left. And you're like, huh, huh, So this is the mind going back. And yet the relevancy principle is it snaps you back to that moment when it was good and you had it. And it ignores all of the disconnect, abuse, uh, coldness, lack of affection. And you're stuck trying to scramble for the answer. So understand, I've also described this in the past as the snapshot. I believe that people fall in love in a second, in a snapshot. Uh, I described this as a dear friend of mine was telling me how he knew he was in love with this girl. It was a beautiful day. They're in the car. The weather's great. She's in a good mood. He's in a good mood. He looks over at her. The music was great that was playing. And he sees this smile just light up his heart. And for the next four years of torment in and out of his life, mixed messages, that's all he saw, that snapshot. So the question is, 
Is their behavior relevant today? We judge it by its relevancy today. A lot of people can pull something off in the short run. And do I have an answer right now for why they did what they did? I don't, because I'm not working with you. I can if we work together. But the thing is, I want you to understand, half the time they don't know. They really don't know. Humans are funny animals. They get skittish and they just run. Worse yet, they don't tell you. But they might not know. (laughs) So when you're stuck in that snapshot, that thing that you go back to, Remember to ask yourself, is what's happening today, is it, is it relevant? It has, the, has that behavior continued all the way through, or am I not expecting this now? And this is not the case. And that's when you can begin to crawl out of the loop because you realize what you're in love with is that moment in time. Granted, it could have been a minute. It could have been a year. But that's what you're stuck on. And until you can release that, you won't be out of the loop. The only thing is focus on the today. What is the pattern today? And if they're not up to your expectations, they're not being a person you value of character and integrity, lucky you for getting out. I hope this helps you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. I encourage you to not suffer in silence, but get a consultation and look at the multiple resources I have. By the way, my podcast, The Susan Winter Show, has different material. I will be in the future. I will be answering questions that you write me on the contact page. There's a whole box that says q and I'll be answering questions there and I'll be talking about things you don't see here. So check out all my resources, and thanks again, and understand the relevancy principle and try to release that and do what's best for you today.